Robertson. And I'm Jackson Bell. Here's what's making news. The Battle of the Woods goes to Brentwood. Behind two Cade Granzow touchdown passes and a pick six, the Bruins defeated crosstown rival Ravenwood last Friday 31-28. BHS fell behind 14-zip in the first quarter, but a Jordan Nicholas 61-yard touchdown run cut the lead in half. Then linebacker Zaire Howard tied the game at 14 with an interception return for a score. The Bruins added 17 more points before a late Raptors rally cut it to three. But Brentwood recovered an onside kick and the game was over. WBHS 9's right man tooth has more on the big game. Now looking to throw. Now looks right, rolling off balance, throw to the end zone and a touchdown! Last Friday, the Brentwood football team took on the Ravenwood Raptors in a heart-pumping showdown. Brentwood started off the football festivities with a pep rally in the gym, including a scream-off between grades, boxing matches, and more. Both sides, Ravenwood and Brentwood, expected to win but only one could come out on top. You could feel the excitement in the air as the two rivals geared up to face off in the ultimate showdown. For Brentwood, there were lots of ups. Drops way back, they set up a screen to McKechnie, makes a one-handed catch! And he's got a first down and more! Down the and downs. And that is caught for a Ravenwood touchdown. Looks like a trick play. And that should do it. The final score was 31 to 28 with Brentwood pulling off the close three point win. The Bruins fought hard and ultimately their hard work paid off. And the Bruins student section storms the field. Right Mantooth, WBHS 9 News. Brentwood is now 4-1 on the season and looking to make it 5-1. They will travel to Nolensville High School this Friday. The game will be at 7 o'clock and tickets will be $7. Once again, Brentwood High leads all Williamson County schools in the number of National Merit semifinalists. 20 BHS seniors made the prestigious list. That's up from 18 last year. Students qualified by scoring in the top 1% on the pre-SAT test. 53 students from across the county are semi-finalists. Those seniors now advance for a chance at a National Merit Scholarship. Winners will be announced in February. Students at Brentwood High are getting ready for Career Shadow Day. That's where you shadow someone at local businesses. Ross Wilkerson has more. On October 10, 2018, students at Brentwood High School will have a chance to shadow a person in any career they desire. I asked Dr. Calton what he thought kids took away from participating. Well, I think one thing they take away from it is a real life experience of what goes on outside the school day. For the last 13 years, students have been coming to school every day, and uh, oftentimes they miss you know, just the day-to-day -day of what goes on outside of school in the real businesses. A lot of students get to work. I say get to work, <laughs> but it's nice to go to a place and actually watch people and what they do and learn from that and not really have to focus on, you know, serving somebody themselves, actually working, so. Ross Wilkerson, WBHS 9. Still to come, a look at Picture Day at Brentwood High. And news on the upcoming fall choir concert. Approximately 5,000 young people die from suicide each year. Get help now. Call 1-800-273-8255.
going to end up like this. Keep on drooling. for the TV and film program. Five videos have been nominated for a national NATAS award, including this PSA produced by senior Garrett Linney. It's the first time Brentwood High has had five nominees. We tied with a high school from Seattle for the most nominations. NATAS stands for the National Academy of Television Arts and Sciences and is the highest award TV students can receive. Other videos included this news story about a World War II veteran by seniors Ashley Gracia and Madison Haybear. TV and Film is also nominated for Writing, Photography, and Public Affairs. The awards will be handed out in Los Angeles on October 18th. It was a day to smile at Brentwood High. More than 1,200 students lined up during Study Hall for Fall Picture Day. The photos are used for the yearbook as well as for photo IDs. Parents can also order copies. If you didn't get your picture taken, Makeup Day is Friday, October 12th in the gym lobby. Music from Estonia to Toto, the Fall Choir Concert is coming up next week. Brennan Chapman has more on the preparations for the show. Natalie Pratt has seen the Brentwood High Chorus program from both sides. The 2001 BHS graduate sang chorus during school. For the past eight years, she has taught here. Now, she and her students are getting ready for their BHS fall concert. Um, our concert is September 27th, and we're doing music from around the world. It's in the BPAC. Um, it features music from all over. We're doing Africa by Toto. We're doing music from Estonia. We're doing music from here. We're doing some spirituals. I mean, we're doing literally music from around the world. So it's so fun. You can, come, you can have the Beatles. You can have musicals. You can just have everything. So I think there's some music from everyone. Um, like I said, it's at the BPAC on uh, September 27th at 7 p.m. Tickets are $5, and they can be purchased from any um, choir member or at the door. Brendan Chapman, WBHS 9. Thank you for joining us. I'm Chloe Robertson. And I'm Jackson Bell. See you next time on WBHS 9 News.